Welcome back. Welcome back to Fantastic Fridays. We are in the final half hour of the show. So I don't know, say, boy, it's the saddest moment of the show for me. I, mean, I like it, but you know it has to happen. But don't worry about it. We are here every Friday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you miss us, you know, just for a couple of days, we're there again next Friday. And all the Friday, I'm going to name Friday. So we're there for you now, yeah? So remember that we are still in Talk the Thing with Kim. And we are discussing discussing how do you know your relationship is over or as we've modified need some attention yeah need some cement need some foundation need mm-hmm. the block need reconstruction reconstruction need all the things yeah call the contractor all right and we just did a recap before the break so yeah. if it is that you missed it so you're probably just go. joining or something please remember that we always have these episodes uh recorded and as such it can be found on our youtube channel at fantastic Fridays. All right. All right. So let's give them a recap of the first seven that we had gone through. These are some of the signs to look out for when you need to call for help in the relationship. Exactly. So number one, they're suddenly spending more time with their family and friends. Number two, when something major happens, they're not the first person you tell. Number three, you're no longer doing your activities together. Those are the things that you know, you know you do as a couple of fun thing that, but all of a sudden people start doing separate separately by themselves, you know, and uh, I'm, not like a, I'm not on the same page with certain things anymore. Number four, you start avoiding going home or you avoid spending time alone together. Number five, you feel alone even when you're together. And once again, this is linked to number six. There's no emotional connection. And number seven, physical intimacy doesn't appeal to you anymore. All right. All so right. those were the seven tips that we highlighted before the break. So we're going to wrap it up with the last three tips. All right. Number eight. Before you jump to Mir- uh, number eight, Mira Queen B says, going off now, heading into prayer meeting. Y'all stay safe. <laughs> we Wish- love it. Pray for us. Wishing y'all didn't come on only on Fridays. Missing already. Aww. Fantastic family. Oh, we love that. We love that. No worry. All right. I will see also <laughs> Baby Tash join. Bless up to you, Baby Tash. All right. So persons of the uh, Rotaract Club, Ligani Plains, large up to you as well. Yeah. All right. And if you're on the live and you're not uh, able to comment, just ensure that you're following us so that way you can drop your name and we can big you up and all those things. Okay. Yes, Miria, thank you so much for joining. We love the yes. feedback. We love the content, the information you've shared. Thank you for that. I am Mango. Enjoy the prayer meeting. She said, me need for call help. Right. <laughs> and as she said, she's sad to so only up on Friday. No yeah. worry, no worry, no worry. Remember, you never so when know. Remember, the Friday, them when the name Friday. Too. All the no Friday, when the name Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So number eight. Someone else seems more appealing to you, oh, to you, or to them, or maybe. to your partner, mm. whichever one. It still affects the relationship mm. in the same way. Ooh, la, so la. while it's normal to be attracted to other people, and let me clarify that one here, people can still look good too. No, you don't mean say you know, in a relationship, and all of a sudden, the only person you're ever attracted to in this world Gonna be is your able. partner. Mm-hmm. You can see someone else, and you can admire features of them or whatever, but you don't mean nothing else, right? You just say, "Boy, the person that look good, can look good." People about you know? mm-hmm. people out here looking good, right? Yeah. And you can give them props for that. You know, you know, you look nice today. You dress nice, whatever. It don't mean nothing more. So that is fine. It is normal to be attracted to other people, right? But feeling the need to act on your attraction can be detrimental to your relationship, especially when they minimize the importance of your partner. So whether you're fixated on your ex, crushing on someone from work, or longing for strangers, Hmm. It's time to reconsider your feelings. This is a sign that probably you need to end the relationship. Yeah? Yeah. When your fantasies are taking time and energy away from what you should be spending with your partner, well, time and energy away from the time and energy you should be spending with your partner, you're probably crossing a line that you shouldn't. So if your desires create a world in which your partner's role is shrinking or your partner is no longer a a priority, it's time to either put someone else in your fantasies or begin a conversation. And that conversation is towards maybe this shouldn't be happening anymore, you know, Mm -hmm. because people out here having these desires for other people, acting on it and then hurting people. Then we create a world where hurt people are hurting people. And I feel like that's the biggest downfall with the dating world right now a lot of people are out here hurt 
don't know how to deal with it don't know how to get past it whatever still want love so you're still going to try at relationships but then you're just hurting other people because you're not working through whatever it is or you're so hurt you know just trying to hurt other people intentionally because you have people do that too right so guys if someone else seems more appealing and them seem more like boy that person fit my speed a bit better they seem to have more what i want they always say you know the grass is not green on the other side but if that is what you think is the best thing for you right now by all means do it but have an open conversation with your partner to say hey this is what i'm gonna do it's not gonna be an easy one i'm not gonna no. tell them to say mm-hmm. it's gonna be like a hey this ain't working Mm-mm. goodbye and then everybody be like okay i get it thanks yeah i move on that's not gonna happen but if you're going to, it don't make no sense you're in a relationship and you just out there desire other people, fill up other people's head, probably all the uh, uh, talk bad about your partner to make the other person feel good because chances are they know you have somebody and them feel special because, oh, you have somebody but you still want me. I don't, people think like this. We know this. Right? So, guys, we need to be more honest and open with people around us. If it's something that you want, a multiple partner type of thing, a, polygam- a polyamorous type of thing, tell them you never know they might want it too not my business that if that's your thing that's your thing but be more open about what you want right yeah that's number eight number nine the trust is gone mm. that is a sign that your relationship could be over what you doing where, where you, you at where? oh mm-hmm. you got plans yeah uh, don't, don't say, say that, that. <laughs> right yeah who you with right where will I go ain't not tell me no oh, you're not tell me so me fin no. <laughs> all right, people. I'm mean, like that. That, that, that one is a remix. Yeah. And not getting no more. Not getting no more. Yeah, that's all up all the things. So no trust. No look of, yeah. No look of trust, mm-hmm. right? So whether your partner had an affair or they just simply don't keep promises, trust is hard to rebuild. So if you feel like you can't trust the person in your corner, then this will prevent or help to diminish any meaningful connection with your partner. Trust is the foundation of a committed relationship and the lack of it hollows out a relationship from the inside. In order to regain it, both partners need to focus not only on trust itself, but on the root of your problems, which led to a breakdown in the first place. Right? So I think this one sort of is or can be linked as well to someone else. Seems more appealing. Right? So the trust gone. Most people because you're with somebody so long and you know you're always told don't just throw it away work mm-hmm. through things but sometimes when the trust gone no, no matter what now work it's like you not put band-aid on something more yeah you know as I'm saying if the, if the glass is broken and you glue it back together the cracks it are still there the same man yeah the cracks are still but there sometimes and it can come back sometimes it can come back yeah. but it takes a lot of work and I don't think people understand the amount of work it takes to rebuild trust and working don't mean say you got to remind the person what them do like every, every day exactly it requires a lot of letting go for mm-hmm. the person that was hurt that require a whole leap and then it also requires a lot of patience and understanding and you know from the person that did it whatever it is that they cause because bear in mind it's not only infidelity you can have somebody that you were with and they kept promising certain stuff and yeah. then eventually you realize so them word don't mean nothing they mistreat you exactly you know? and yeah. then the next time they promise you you know, in you know, you know, the back of your mind, you're like, yeah, you should talk. Because <laughs> you have more for talk. Because so you know they're not deliver. Exactly. Uh, them I'll steal from you, stuff. them yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Them promise, say, yo, we're going to do this together. Mm-hmm. Or they betrayed you in some way. And right. I say, it don't have to be infidelity. Right. There's a whole heap of other things that can cause trust to, to basically be gone in a relationship. And it takes a whole heap of work for rebuild. Yeah. So that could be a sign that the relationship is over. That one is a really hard one to come back from, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. Or it just means that on a need for putting a whole heap of work upon a relationship here to get it back in good standing. Because relationships are working, I don't want to buy a trick, you know. It not just happen so. I'm going to say, just like the sun come up, it don't happen like that. Y'all have to put in effort. All right, so the final one. Mm-hmm. Your goals don't align. Mm. One of the hardest disconnects to accept in a relationship is when partners want different things things no matter how deeply you care for each other if you're not planning for the same goals in life it's difficult to realign your hopes and move forward in your relationship together sometimes even relationships with a great deal of love can be forced to come to an end due to goals that are totally different desires for children 
professional dreams or where you'd like to live are common things that couples struggle with. If you can relate to this, there can be hope for your relationship with compromise. But without that, the warning signs are hard to ignore. Right? So if we're not going in the same direction, this is basically the long and short. Yeah. If we're not going two separate ways, as Bugles say, you want uh, cook food, then want KFC, them something there, you know? You are planning for build a foundation, investment, all of that. Yeah, more you want broth, you want party, you want this. Mm. Those things can put a strain on a relationship because they're going to always feel like in a pulling. You know, going to be a tussle. And eventually, somebody going to want somebody to include, well, want to join me in my whatever it is that I'm trying to achieve in a relationship if you know that with me I'm going to feel like I'm doing this alone so if me I build a relationship and you out there spend the money me I eventually feel like what am I doing this for and if you out here a party or whatever and a person can't come party with you you got to pan but why I have this partner you can't touch road with me you can't go with me you know so it's going to cause a natural disconnect or a constant back and forth a constant argument if your goals don't align so it lead back to communication being necessary in all relationships because I guess so you and somebody can end up on the same page in, in the beginning you know and along the way your plans completely change you know Today, I can say you want kids and a few months on the line, you decide, say, well, I can't bother with that <laughs> right now. I know one auntie, uh, you know, you, you can reason with yourself. I know one auntie, one on the picnic and try and make it, you know, and people's goals change. So those that, those are the times when you have a conversation and you, rea- you, you discuss to see if it's something only can still pursue. And it's hard, as I said, no breakup conversation. Just even the conversation or the thought. None of them are easy. But guess what? It might save yourself some pain in the long run if you're not very open about what's in the feeling, where you're not at mentally, physically, whatever it is. All right? So, regardless of what's causing a disconnect in your relationship, it's never an easy situation to find yourself in. If you're still in love and want your bond to last, you might seek counseling to better communicate and understand each other. All relationships have their obstacles. So if you're certain your partner is the one, try finding new ways to get past conflicts in a healthy way for both of you. All right. I want to say big up to Marlon Surplus joining close to the end there. Yeah, man, catch a, a bit of the advice from Kimmy Kim Kim as she's saying. Now, these are signs to look out for how to know when your relationship is coming to an end, I guess, or needs some the attention on the rock. Needs some, you know, needs some work, TLC. some effort. Yeah. yeah. Just like how you know when you have a plant and the plant start move like it both for dead and you mm. have to no man when you fix the plant. Yeah. You water it again. And you know? put in extra you probably you probably used to water it once a mm-hmm. day, but because you're reviving the plant, you have to do two twice a day. You probably have to groom the, the plant. Yeah, you have to do more work mm. because you're trying to get the plant back yeah. in a good standing so you can go back to the water in one time a day. Mm-hmm. That's literally how our relationship is. Oh, wow. Lit- Analogy. Of I didn't goat. even think about that so just now. Yeah. Right? So mind blown. <laughs> but anyway. I'm just saying guys if these things happening it don't necessarily mean that the relationship done Mm-mm. but we'll have some work to put in and as Kim does her plant analogy I want to remind you guys that the grass is greener where, where you, you water, water it. it yes mm-hmm. so yeah that tie back in too so you know most people and I think I said this once before most people when they find someone else that I guess they seem to be more compatible with that person tends to have the thing they're lacking yeah. in their current relationship. So if it's attention, this person will show you with attention. So all of a sudden you start thinking, you know, maybe I'm in the wrong relationship. You know, look for no other factor of this person, you know. Mm-hmm. They're probably a very selfish person. Mm-hmm. They're probably irresponsible. They're probably ma- immature. But you're not seeing that because right now the thing that you need the most is attention. And this person giving it to you. So you jump boats because you're like, yo, better life is out there. You have people out there who are willing to give attention. So you jump over there and you realize that boy, the person is a cross. <laughs> right? Wow. Very such I have to be very honest. Mm-hmm. That person is coming out with a whole more baggage. And then that's when you find people who, when they move on to somebody else, then come back, you know, I wish I knew better. 
and I realized how good things were and I, I wish we spoke it happened guys we know we'll probably go through them something here and then also there's <laughs> another look at it from the toxic side as well mm-hmm. you are here in your relationship it started out with nice green grass you don't put in the energy it start to fade you look over across the road you say wow over there's a look nice and lush so you jump fence go over there you know do not see them energy again Start so over there, so again. the grass you that look feed. again and you see another place and you say wow but I was just over here how come it looks so pretty I never Money put it and you start jump back up. that is it people you're, if you're not putting in no work nobody jump from relationship no to relationship you're, you're not ready to feed same thing if you're not willing to put in the work there relationships aren't for you honey so if you see one of them signing at first and you're ready to jump ship that means you're never really into the relationship. You're never really into together. it. It but was our relation. There was are, no ship. Yeah, these are <laughs> things to work on. I mean, if you try them and your sister boy, you can't work on it, then fine. Mm-hmm. But if you're not interested for work on it, that means you're not interested in the relationship. Nobody trick, nobody son, nor nobody you daughter. You are camouflage. Exactly. Yeah. You are knock off. Yeah. You are the real deal. Not at all. You are the... Hold on. I want to brand them. Laridas for the Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. There was a lot. Oh, no, this no brand. You know. <laughs> there was a there was a TikTok with a guy. What he his his, his shorts just turned around the first D. So he said Abidas, <laughs> Abidas, <laughs> right? So it's a knockoff, but they're not ready for relationships. Yeah. So guys, just know that in relationships, it's a ship. Yeah. Never put in work for make the journey. It's a boat. It's a boat, and y'all you'll, both have to paddle. You'll get to some make wind the boat get there. But then you're gonna have to put some paddling as well. You guys, ever I don't know if you guys have ever, um, ever experienced it or watch a show or something. If you, two person in a canoe. And one person now pedal. You ready to say, keep on going in a circle? Well, first thing first, then guys out there in Radio Land, Kim doesn't really mean that you're going to pedal in the canoe. She's talking paddle. <laughs> I, All I right? corrected it right after. You oh. know what I meant, though? Okay. But if you watched in so the movies or whatever. if one person is paddling on one side, you're going to go in a circle. Circle and then not ever move forward. Not forward. So one person puts in all the work. And yeah. eventually, the person I get fed up and say, yo, this foolishness, this. And Every day, me I sweat on a work If both time. Time decide to give up, you know, what's an hour going What's now move? <laughs> Right? So the it is only like a in the middle of the water. Go make a drift. It's just to, <laughs> just to get both persons putting in the work. In I don't know if both go to the same direction yeah, that go. you guys want to get to. And then sometimes it might be 70 30, sometimes 60 40, sometimes 50 50. It's but never always 50 50. It will still get you forward. Because it will even out eventually, but somehow you might go look a left or look a right. But guess what? It's still going forward. But when I want person alone, circle. When I no personal energy, nah, gonna wait. Waste a time. Lock off the ship. Come out of the ship. Walk on land, cause that is not a journey for you. Walk on. I like you. That. Yo, <laughs> the gems, you know. Gems, you know. Woo. Right. So, guys, that is it for talk the thing with Kim. We hope that we helped you mm-hmm. with something. I don't know if it is that. Either you're in a relationship and you're in this place right now, or you were in one and you're like, yo, those are things probably I'd never need to give up. Probably I need to put in work. Or maybe you're saying, all right, you know what? When I'm in a relationship again, I want to know these things. Yeah. Anybody can learn. It don't have to be that you have to be in it, right? You can learn for future or yeah. for past or for, for today. Yeah? So thank you for listening. Remember, every every week at 7 p.m. is Talk the Thing with Kim. If it is that you have any topic suggestions, just DM us and I'll be happy to do the research and come present. Present. Once it is that we can vet the topic and it's a topic we can discuss, come on, some out there now, right? If it's a topic we can discuss, then by all means, we'll do it for you. So feel free to send topic suggestions and we will be happy to present the topics that I you want to hear about. I'm not sure where Mr. Surplus is going with this one. I don't know if it's a topic suggestion for next time uh-huh. or this is related to the comment earlier. Uh-huh. He said, What well, more than three people? <laughs> That is Remember, you know, one of the, one of the tips were when somebody when else, you desire someone else so more. You, know, so you need to pack up So, I guess one so that's what I'm saying is a conversation because mm-hmm. your partner might be okay with that. You, um, no, that's what, right, hold on. Right, a conversation right, 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 because right. you have some people out mm-hmm, there who mm-hmm. are not necessarily inside the box, yeah. they're not traditional, mm-hmm. they aim to be out just different. Yeah, so you may have people who are on the same page as you, right? right. And if it's a case where that is what you see, King talk with them and say, Yo, this, uh, this is what I want to do. You want to do this? If they want to do it, they'll let you know. If they don't want to do it, they will let you know. Or, as I was thinking, I was saying that you know, if you are telling your partner, say, Hey, you know, somebody else have my attention, what I 
I was thinking when they said, boy, I'd probably agree with it, is to say, you know, so somebody else have my attention too. <laughs> Let's go our separate ways. Exactly. If that's the case, well, fine. But Kim said, jump in on the boat, my friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, it's possible. <laughs> I mean, everybody flexible nowadays. So it, 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 right? With them it, apparently, so, as people like to say, it's 2022, right. you know? So apparently, it was a whole new world mm-hmm. with boats and oh, boats that can fit in a ship and all yeah. them something there. So I don't know. If it's your thing, your thing, mm-hmm. Uno work it out how Uno want it. Happiness yeah. is subjective to who you are and what you want out of life. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying, if you're going to do that, talk to the people. Them. Don't, don't surprise them yeah. with a new personal relationship. Don't, don't have we not, not cast for over there, we never know about in our relationship. The friendly Jerry goal, Springer. the very friendly goal. Jerry Springer and Maury for that. All right, let's bring out <laughs> Kerry. Let's bring out Kerry. <laughs> new As Marlon says, seriously, Vanessa. <laughs> people, I tell you. Listen, me, and Kim. I you know if Vanessa and Amari talk, you never know. You know? Well, yeah, they could have talked to <laughs> And they actually should have talked to the guy instead of them. But anyway. <laughs> Kim, at this rate where you thought about dropping gems and all these things, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna cut the chase and let's just say jewelry box. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Jewelry box. Out here. Yeah. We Many still, we still make a jewelry store. Yeah. No worry, no. And all the advice, guys, as we said, it's recorded and it's posted mm-hmm. on Fantastic Fridays on our YouTube channel. So if you miss most of it earlier and you hear the lots of tips and you're like, hold on, this sounds interesting. We need to go rewatch it. Go and check out our page, all right? All right. And for our digital persons, we got a digital credit for you. We gave away two flow phone. Um, well, you bought two flow phone. Phone. Two Listen, flow no, phone no, no, nobody said we want to give a phone. All right. So we also want to big up our winners for the... Uh, questions that I asked big up to bad girl Chevy who won the uh, what you call it again oh the way so cotton, the, candy the cotton challenge candy, yeah and we want to big up to Abonique it was Abonique yeah Abonique started with the sweetie the sweetie challenge mm-hmm. alright okay and then also Tori Cassells was the first person log on Sorry, yes, was the first yeah, one. Okay, as great. well. And then we had credit win. I don't know if anybody won the second flow credit. No, we don't I don't think anybody we highlighted that. that. But we're going straight into the Digicel giveaway. So if you're a Digicel phone user, draw for the phone quick, quick. Because I know so the show soon done mm-hmm. at 8 p.m. It's always Fridays, 5 p.m. till 8 p.m. So Digicel phone users, star one, two, one, star mm-hmm. four, seven, five, five, eight. Four six six two nine eight seven six number sign and send. We take like the time you. with that one day. So like you add all three extra digits on that one day. No, ain't no more got easy. Yeah, I'm not saying you did it fast. I just sound like a lot of numbers. That's okay, all. well, it's the same yeah. amount. Mm. <laughs> right? All so right. guys, if it is that you want the Digicel credit, let me know. Let us know. Send the us numbers are 876-212-9824 or 876-462-0919. All right, people. So there you have it. Fantastic Friday. We're coming to the end of the show. Just want to big up to everybody that keeps it locked in every Friday. Big up to our listeners. Big up to those of you out there on radio. And you're heading home. Travel safely. If you're heading out, be safe on the roads, I tell you. And um, we're coming to the end of May. So yeah. you don't know. Next time you guys see us would be June or hear us would be June. So I'm just going to keep safe until them time there. Yeah, Father's Day coming up as well. I look forward to yeah. that. Trust me, and we have lots of giveaways and lots in store of giveaways. for you for June. So no I miss it, people. And guys, remember that the Abs Dance Fitness giveaway is out there it's on our page so go and check it out go and enter for your chance to win some dance session some fun fitness can be fun you know no other things and if you go out there match up yourself you know work off a tree or straight and if you say you want to lose weight and some are catching with the same weight make a look and say seriously Vanessa (laughs) seriously Uh, seriously and I know excuse especially when fantastic Fridays I sort out the fitness thing for now only do have no excuse I'm making no say a three pound me lose already, you know. Yeah. Me lose five, but me, me like me get back to me. I know who give me back, but me lose three now. And yeah. I have lost nine pounds. Oh, Kim total. lose nine. I have lost six pounds. I keep got nine. So we have to <laughs> we are more up here. I saw two low while ago. Right. Six pounds, guys. I was nine. Eight, yeah. mm-hmm. And all I do is work out at least twenty to thirty minutes a day. 
I'm it's not no yeah. over the top. It's not no gym, by the way, guys. We're not paying for no gym membership. No no things. Things. Uh, look, look at Arrow. We go on YouTube and say exercise video, cardio, cardio, cardio or yeah. dance mm-hmm. or whatever. YouTube, thank you for this these things because if you don't have the money to go to the gym, wow. you can do that. Look at this magician. Riyad Sia says I got the digital. I didn't even know Riyad Sia. Big up. I don't even know saying the funny line with him. So. But Riyad Sia running and take the credits. Apparently. Right? But yeah, man, guys, work on the fitness. Your health is your wealth. So we are try. We really are try for helping, you know? Mm-hmm. We really are try. We not only are giving you credit, we are try to give you a healthy lifestyle. Definitely. Right? So you can win it. Ensure you apply. Get your friends to apply. Follow the page. Get your friends, family members, co-workers, whatever. We, we love the messages that we get all the time. Where persons are like, yo, we love the energy. We love the vibe. We love the show. We're always entertained. Thank you guys for sharing. You know, taking the time to tell we say we don't like it. Yeah. Can't make me feel like, all right, we're doing something right. I want you to continue doing these things. Yeah. So thank you to those persons who always love to share that with us. We we love it. We love it. It helps us. And thank remember you. to drop some comments. Whenever we post, we're gonna see the activity happening in June. You're gonna wanna you don't wanna miss that. Cause trust me, people, it's gonna be a crazy, crazy stuff happening in June. So you don't wanna miss that. Stay locked to Fantastic Fridays, aka Fantastic 93 F. I'm going to remind you about the numbers once again. Not fun for call right now, you know, but fun for save it because these numbers are numbers you're going to want to save. Gonna wanna so save. the numbers are 876-212-9824 or 876-212-9824. Four six two zero nine one nine. Save those numbers because giveaways galore. Only know that's what Fantastic is known for. Mm-hmm. We are trying little bars. All right. <laughs> so people, I hope you guys have a safe weekend. Keep it safe. Fantastic Fridays tell you sir. Have a fantastic weekend. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing y'all and speaking to y'all next week, Friday. I'm gonna say if we not have some which topics. Part see them? As it on the live on these things. Right? I don't know what I mean. See them. Yeah, must see the name them. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. And guys, remember that for the talk the thing with Kim segment. But like forget the topics them you know, because mm-hmm. guess what? It helped me to know what y'all want. Every week me I brainstorm and I say, what I want earbuds, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a, so far I like my, and I seem to like the content. But I'd like to get some suggestions. So I can you know exactly what y'all want to hear about, all right? All right. Have a fantastic weekend, people. Stay safe. Stay See safe. See you guys next week. Remember to keep yourself mask up, sanitize, social distance, corona still keep, keep safe. We don't know what going for monkeypox. We don't want it. We don't, we don't want so, no, no, nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, just doing the thing, people. Have a great weekend. Yeah, guys, stay safe. Looking forward to next week's show. All right. Signing out. Kimmy Kim Kim and Miss Fresh, Fresh Concert. Big up to yourself, DJ MV Stone. Yeah, anyway, you're that big up yourself. yourself. Bad girl, Chevy, nice to have you on the show again. Yeah. And Friday Night Live coming, coming up. up next. <laughs>